Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this dev blog. Um, to get things started, I want to thank all my Patreon subscribers Teddy Salad, Macker, Odin Kid, YKCIR30, NorCal Fire Photography 27, Michael Anthony Shiflet, and James Selk. Thank you guys. Um, just a reminder you subscribe to the Patreon at the $20 and above tier, you get an extra copy of Into the Flames um, sent to you every month that you're subscribed. So it pretty much pays for itself. Anyway, so I'm going to jump right into this dev blog. Um, it's been delayed before. Um, it was supposed to be out like a week or two ago, but um, I ended up working a lot of overtime at work. I didn't really have time to develop. So I'm getting back on track with that. Um, I plan on having it out within the next week, and the forestry is still on track to get released later this month as well. So for starters, we're going to talk about the victim. I'm going to show off a little menu that's going to prototype. Victim still is in prototype phase, but I'm going to have all the bugs and stuff worked out of it. Um, hopefully by the end of this weekend, and then I'm going to show off the new squad. So with the victim, um, it can be incapacitated by smoke and fire. Um, when he's not incapacitated, you can lead him out. You can walk up to him, interact with him, and he'll follow you out. Um, once incapacitated, you'll have to carry him. And then you'll be able to optionally perform CPR on him outside, or you can just return to the trucks. Um, I'll get to why in a little bit of how the CPR could be beneficial to you. Um, anyway, I'm going to show off the menu real quick. I'm going to have the victims wander around the buildings. Um, they'll be able to wander outside the buildings and stuff. Um, so anyway, be able to carry, perform, CPR, and exit menu. Now, like I said, this is kind of just prototyping phase. So obviously, I'm going to clean up the UI and everything. Um, so that's pretty much that. I'm going to have another dev blog early next week showing off um, how far it comes between now and then. Um, so the new squad, fully drivable now, volume's extremely loud, so mirrors and everything. So. Pretty much the new squad. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the forestry update. So things coming in the update are real choppable trees. You'll actually be able to like splinter them apart until they fall. Um, you'll be able to chainsaw directly through them like before. Um, the big difference though is you'll be able to like wedge them out as you're like chopping it with the axe. It's going to be kind of cool. So you're going to have fire lines. Um, fire is wind driven now. For those forest fires so I'll have an indication to be able to like check what direction the winds blowing and deciding on that factor you'll be able to kind of like plan your attack um, it's definitely going to be a lot different than like the normal fires um, they're still not going to spread individually but it will engulf a group um, when to have a chance to kind of like kick up which is also going to be a dynamic element because maybe you're trying to make a fire line to the north and then all of a sudden the wind picks up and now you're in immediate danger which you'll have the emergency suit um, I call it the baked potato like the aluminum looking shelter the fire shelter um, until someone can rescue you um, there's gonna be AI water drops now you'll be able to uh, mark an area and an AI plane to come in and do an airdrop. Um, you'll still be able to do it manually with a helicopter, but um, it'll be like a bigger plane that comes with the AI airdrop. Um, so the big thing that's coming with the forestry update is going to be an XP system. You'll be able to level up finally. Um, everything you do practically, they give you XP. Um, as of now, I may change it up. Maybe a, like as you complete each emergency. But as I was talking with the victim, you'd get more XP for returning them 
if he's walking than you would if he was still in cardiac arrest or incapacitated. So, XP system, as you level up, you'll unlock new skins for the trucks. Um, I don't think I'm going to cap the level up, so you can just keep on going. It'll be like an XP multiplayer. The cap would probably be like 999,000 or something. Some absurd high level, just if you guys wanted to keep going. Um, as I continue to develop, I'll be adding more like unlockable. So let's say if this skin here unlocks at level 40 or something. If you're already level 50 and this wasn't in the game yet, you would kind of retro get it, so it unlock for you. So just another thing to increase replayability. Um, I'll probably do have more unlocks like new helmets and stuff as well. Um, the game's about three months from being finished. I want to say less than three months. Um, if you guys remember my pace from before, it's kind of crazy how much stuff I add to the game at once. So, I want to finish this Canton County 1.0 update. Um, some other news is I'm thinking about scrapping the city map and just doing a city addition to Canton County. Um, maybe a couple blocks that can represent a little bit of Baltimore City, a small chunk of it. Which I may do that addition by the, the new town with the new station. Um, so the order of updates coming is the Canton County 1.0, the forestry update, the traffic, AI, and then light firefighter AI is coming as well. Um, they'll follow you around, help extinguish fire, maybe four stores. I haven't really fully decided what it, the max, like, capability of them I want yet, but... Um, I'm going to have a fire truck spawning system with them um, because they're going to be too dumb to drive to the scenes and I don't want any like jankiness with that so um, it might be like an RTS system where you just kind of like spawn it wherever you want on the street or something. Um, after that update the rescue update's coming which is going to have car accidents with entrapment. Um, some rope rescue. Trench rescue, stuff like that. Um, crush, maybe like, um, I don't know, some pallets collapse on a guy and you're going to have to remove the pallets. Or maybe even something heavier. Where you'll have to use like airbags to lift that. That would be all coming in the rescue update. Which hopefully will be out by the end of July, early August. Maybe even mid-August. Um... And that's going to bring a lot of content in itself and a lot of new, new dynamic elements. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to also be adding like smaller stuff in with those updates. For instance, um, the XP system. So just keep that in mind. The hose. I know it's been a long wait. Bacon, my other developer, has come a long way with it. We fixed... Well, I'm going to not take any credit for this. He did it pretty much all himself. Um... He fixed all the issues that you see in other games with hose clipping through things. Um, fully optimized. Won't have any impact on performance. Fully replicated. No jankiness. And has a decent amount of physics attached to it. Um, so there'll be a full hose and pumping update um, coming whenever that's done. And then the final update for the game I'm keeping secret. But it's going to be huge. And it'll add whole nother um, dynamic element to the game that the community will enjoy. So there's that. I plan on launching the game um, out of early access sometime in the fall. Um, maybe October or even sometime in November. Um, it'll be polished up. Um, early September is probably when I'll start working on console ports. Um, I don't know what consoles it's going to come to. Um, currently, I have a dev kit for the Nintendo Switch, um, which I doubt this game is going to run on the Nintendo Switch. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but the RAM usage of this game is just not ideal, especially with Unreal Engine 4. Um, but 
my main goal is to get them out on next gen or current gen systems like Xbox Series X, S, and PS5 for sure. Um, I haven't reached out to Sony or Microsoft yet. Um, well, actually, that's not completely true. I have talked to Microsoft in the past. Um, and they were just waiting for me to have full controller support. So sometime in one of these updates, the controller support is going to be complete. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of bug fixing and optimizing toward when we get to the end, towards the end. Um, maybe even I'll be doing adjustments to driving and stuff and like fixing up all the like small odds and ends of the game. Um, it'll never be perfect, but I'd like to get it a complete experience where players don't have to run into like a dead end of emergencies not clearing or something, so... Um, it's very important to me to have a bug, a semi-bug free experience. So, but progress is coming along great. Um, I'm actually, once Bacon's done the hose, I'm pulling him to come help with the general um, game design and coding with this game. And then once we're done that, um, he'll be moving on to a new project relating to Into the Flames. Um... Not a sequel, nothing's planned yet. Um, and there's nothing I'd like to or even want to announce today. But just some stuff to talk about in the future. Um, anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Um, just be patient. Check out the Discord, check out the Patreon. Um, progress is coming along. So have a good night. And uh, thanks for supporting the game.